Sugary pigeon pie. Always sugar cake. <laughs> Slave boy, more grapes. They're right there in front of you. I sell the kitchen floor to clean. Who said you could use them up? Use your tongue. <gasps> oh, but feed us the grapes first. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? I said, of course, your magnificence. Uh, okay. <laughs> oh, don't you want him to peel them first? Oh, no, 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 me. All the vitamins are in the skin. Mm. <laughs> oh, my little baklava. This is the life. Mm. Mm. Ah. <laughs> you two look like you're having a good time. Mm. Oh, show her, Spike. Let's do it again. Oh, oh, oh. No. I said do it, slave boy. Or else. I am Spartacus. No, I am Spartacus. No, I am Spartacus. <laughs> you know what? You can't keep me here like this. This is kidnapping, and it's torture. Every time you pinch my butt like that, that is sexual harassment. Oh, Ed, oh. listen, your trying to kill us earned you this punishment. But if you'd prefer it, I can send you back down to the basement. <laughs> no, 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 not, not that. Yeah. Ne never that. Then you better do what these two ladies tell you to do. And enjoy it while you can, because sooner than you think, Officer Sam's going to be around here arresting you for your crimes. <laughs> What an unbelievable night, you guys. I mean, this whole night has been like a miracle. I mean, Luis was going to be executed by lethal injection, and all of a sudden he was exonerated at the last minute. Well, my mom sure took her sweet time revealing that Vincent was behind all those crimes. Hey, can you believe it? I have a mass murderer for a half-brother. And he killed Ray. Hey, don't worry. He'll be punished. Yeah, where's Paloma? Wasn't she supposed to meet us here? Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot to tell you. Dad wanted her to come down to the station and do some work or something like that. She said she'd be here as soon as she could. Oh, well, speak of the devil. Hi, Daddy. What's wrong? Is Lisa all right? Yeah, he's fine. Then what's wrong? <clears throat> Jessica, stand up. Oh, why? Jessica, you're under arrest for multiple counts of murder. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. What? What is it? Honey, let's go. I don't know, Aunt Sheridan. Maybe it's not the right time to tell Louise the no, truth. No, 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 no. Don't get cold feet on me now. Why would you want Fancy to be happy after she hurt you so much? I mean, come on. With a face like this, you're going to be alone for the rest of your life. Thanks for reminding me. Look, I'm, I'm sorry. Just take your chance, girl. Hurt Fancy the way she hurt you. You're right. Okay, I'll tell Louise right now. Oh, that's it. Fancy, you are living in a dream. You are about to wake up. I love you. I'm never going to let anything come between us again. go outside and scream to everyone. We're together. And I, 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 you know? I, I think that we should have a big party when we get back. But, yeah, I want to lope. Oh, you're the boss. We'll elope. But we're going to do it tonight. Tonight? Yeah. <laughs> 
I have to marry you before Gwen does something to stop me. Mm. What? Oh. You too busy? Um, does it look like we're busy? What? Sorry to uh, barge in like this, but uh, I have something to say. Now then, now then, you two have hogged our lazy slave boy long enough. I have plenty of chores for Spike to take care of while he's still got breath in his body. <laughs> what? I want you to clean my chimney. It hasn't been cleaned in donkey's years. Clean your own damn chimney. I, what did you say? I said can't wait to clean the chimney. Jessica. I have to. For what, Sam? All the dead bodies that were found at the motels. And in the field? The governor was furious tonight after what happened at the prison. And he wants answers. A report came in on all the evidence that was found with the bodies and at the various crime scenes. Jessica, my God. Your fingerprints? Your hair? Your saliva? Oh, no, Daddy. He, she was set up. What about the fingerprint? What about Spike's fingerprint that was found with one of the buried bodies? A fingerprint compared to the mountain of evidence that says Jessica's done this? I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I hate to have been part of this. You've done everything you could. I'm sorry this is happening. I can't let this happen to Jessica. I've got to stop this somehow. Let's go. I'm gonna get you down to the station. It's Sam Wade. Ice station zero. Find out. spend the rest of my life with you. God, I love you. I adore you. I'll always be there for you, and I know that you'll be there for me. You'll always stand by me. And you'll always stand by me too, right? Of course. There's nothing that you could ever do that would make me ever abandon you. Nothing I haven't seen before. Little Ethan had a nightmare. Ethan, he was asking for you. I just ran into his nanny in the hallway. You know, she wanted to let you know, but didn't want to disturb you, so I came right up. I know how close you and little Ethan are. I know you'd be really mad at someone if they kept something about little Ethan a secret from you. Okay. Thanks. Okay. Um, I will be, uh... Where to write that? Okay. 
Okay. What are you up to, Gwen? I wouldn't take that tone with me if I were you. Like I said, Ethan would be really, really mad at anyone who kept a secret about little Ethan from him. Don't. Hey, did I say I was going to tell him he's a father? No, I didn't. Like your mother always says, Teresa's secrets come out. And when this one does, Ethan is never going to forgive you. Diet. Baby. You know, maybe it's a sign that tonight's not the night to tell Louise about fancy. Don't be ridiculous. Wow. I, I spent a lot of time in this room when I was growing up. Well, Fancy's room was always so much bigger than yours. My room was nice, too. And don't forget about that second bedroom that Father spoiled her with. The princess room. Yeah. It was gorgeous. Still is. Oh, my God, I can't believe Fancy kept this after all these years. What is it? This bottle of Caron perfume. Bonsoir, ma sœur. Comment ça va? La plume de ma tante est sur la pomme d'Avignon. That was Paris. Magnifique. Oh, et les ongles. Ooh la la. It was wonderful, Vance. We just landed and they came straight back here. I'm sorry you couldn't come because you're sick. So you just came up here to gloat. No, I was worried about you, and I missed you. Would have been so much more fun if you'd been there. And I went to Caron, had them make this up especially for you. It's unique. Your very own perfume. Oh, pretty. <laughs> oh, oh, it's exquisite. Oh, citrus and musk. Now that'll make the men come running, <laughs> as if they didn't already. They don't call Mono the kissing disease for nothing. <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> oh, I wish you'd been there. Shopping in Paris with Mother is not as much fun as shopping with you. She actually looks at the price tag. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and that's not all. Want more presents? <laughs> oh, oh, nope. Not so fast. Now, what is better than Parisian clothing, Parisian jewelry, or Parisian men? You didn't. I did. <laughs> Parisian pastry. Oh, you yes. angel. I know. Oh, give me some. Mm. Ooh, I'm gonna try this. Mm. I wish Pretty and I could be close again. I guess that's too much to hope for. <laughs> What's wrong? What kind of sad? Uh, I was just, I was just thinking about how close I came to losing you. But she didn't. Mm. Well, come on, don't think about the past. Think about the great future that we have to look forward to. I can never lose you again. You're not gonna lose me. I love you so much. I'm never gonna let anything happen to you, okay? Right, Sheridan, I should just keep my big mouth shut. Oh, wait a minute. So while your attacker fancy shares a night of ecstasy with a beautiful man, you'll be satisfied sleeping alone? Sheridan. Sure, Is it fair, pretty? Come here. Look at this. Is it fair that fancy have one more moment of joy after what she did to you? Huh? Stop it. I hate to look at it. No, look at look at your face. Remember how lovely you were before Fancy disfigured you? Before she turned you into a monster? I'm not! No, mirrors don't lie. So why should Fancy have one more night of joy when you have to look at this mess every day? Where do you think they are? That's my girl. Security should know. This is Sheridan. 
Has my niece Fancy left the grounds? Well, I want you to check every camera. I want to know where she is right now. Thank you. Oh, there's a visitor at my cottage? Okay, thanks. Luis and Fancy are at the indoor pool. But I have a visitor at my cottage, so I'll be over shortly. Don't take too long. You might enjoy picking up the pieces. That's it. After tonight, Luis will be mine. <sighs> Jessica, gosh, how am I going to get you out of this mess? Well, I could just destroy all the evidence. Yeah, but the only thing is, that would keep them from convicting Spike when they find him again. Hmm, what do I do? Tessa, of course. Don't let me fix this. Okay, don't move anybody. <laughs> I'll be right back. Wait, what are you doing? I can just blink myself over like Samantha and bewitched. <laughs> Yes, master. <laughs> well, I thought I'd pop over and ask for your advice. Look, I've got a problem. Yeah, I can see that. We all do. What's that supposed to mean? <clears throat> How did we get over here? Hey, good looking you up for a Roman orgy! <laughs> Hello? Is anyone here? I, uh, I was told I had a visitor. Hello, Sheridan. We need to talk about James. Chris, what is it? Is James all right? You all right? Yeah, yeah, I'm just tired. <laughs> well, don't tell me I wore you out. Are you kidding? Of course you did. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we just have to go back to bed then. Well, maybe we could snuggle up on the lounge chair. Sounds like an offer I can't refuse. Enjoy my first night of freedom together. Okay. You're finished, Nancy. Tonight I tell Luis everything. No matter what you think, Gwen, I'm not stupid. I know I'm going to have to tell you from the truth about little Ethan. And when I do, he's going to be angry with me. But you know what? We're going to work through that. And when we do, we're going to spend the rest of our lives making each other very happy. Oh. Mm. See, that's where you are, stupid, Teresa. You're too blind to see that you're only going to make Ethan miserable just the way you always have. Because you are not capable of being happy or making anyone around you happy. That's not true. Really? Because every time you get what you want, you become immediately dissatisfied and you look for the next big thing to feed your ego. You lie, you cheat, you steal, 
You do whatever you have to to get what you want. And the sad thing is that you never learn from your mistakes. You don't care that your lies hurt people. And this lie, this lie is going to tear Ethan's heart out. He's going to hate you when he finds out that he is little Ethan's father. What did you just say? Ethan, I... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Um, what did you just say? What about you being little Ethan's father? It's no secret. I mean, you're always together. I wouldn't be surprised if some of the people in this town think it's true. Yeah, well, those who don't know the truth... You've always been like a father to little Ethan, more so than Julian. I mean, you're always at his sporting events. You even went to the father-son banquet at the country club. Julian went to Switzerland. I didn't want little Ethan to miss it out. Well, I was just telling Teresa that despite our differences, the children always come first. And I really admire the way you are with little Ethan. Always concerned for him and his welfare. And it's a two-way street. You know, he also thinks of you as a father. Like tonight, right? He asked for you in the middle of the night, not Julian, not Teresa. He asked for me at other times. I'm sure he does. Well, Gwen, thank you so much for telling Ethan that little Ethan needed him this evening. But if there isn't anything else... You know, actually, there is. What the hell is going on here? Endora, Endora, freeze them! I told you over and over again not to use your magic powers until you're properly trained. If you're not careful, you can do expose us all. As it is, I'm going to have to cast a spell on, on Sam and, and this motley crew so they forget any of this ever happened. God, heaven? Watch your language in front of Endora. You're here? You're the one who killed all the sleazy men, aren't you? Don't worry, James is fine, physically at least. Thank God. You know, you really worried me. Showing up out of the blue like this, I thought something was wrong. But why are you here? I thought you were done with me. Uh, James made something for you at summer day camp. He wanted me to give it to you. James made this. It's gorgeous. Yeah. He's uh, learning how to carve, but I think what it means is more important, Charlie. I think he wanted you to know how much he misses you. I miss him, too. Yeah, those dozens of phone calls and cards sure helped cheer him up. I'm sorry. I've been really busy. It's been really hard around here. <clears throat> Look, I didn't come to fight, Sharon. I'm just concerned about James. He thought that the three of us would always be a family. I did too. Did you really, Sharon? Or were you just stringing me along the whole time? Was I just a convenient little substitute for Luis? The only man who's really had your heart. Want to swim? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Mine? <laughs> Dream on. <laughs> now, if you're very nice to me, I'll share. Come on, you are not going to make me say it. Uh, 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 you know the rules. <sighs> Please, fancy, pretty, 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 please. <laughs> That's what I like to hear. Oh, you've been pretty. Making, you've been making me say that since I was three years old. You know, this is just a dream I'm having. I wish we could both go back to the way it used to be. What are you talking about? See? It's a dream. 
That's the man I love. And you're trying to take him away from me. It's so sad. I mean, I know we used to fight like cats and dogs, but we loved each other once. We were so close before the accident. What accident? Never mind. Forget about it. Just let me enjoy this silly dream. <laughs> but doesn't it feel like yesterday when we really felt like sisters? Uh, well, wasn't that always a dream? Because sisters would never hurt each other like this, bitch! Bad dream? Not this again. Let me go. Tell me, tell me what exactly is going on. Yeah. My dad just arrested Jessica for murder. What? Uh, you, you, see, you see? I knew that she was evil. Oh, shut up. There's evidence that links Jessica to all those bodies in those hotel rooms and out in that field. But there's also evidence that he did it. Hey, give me a break. One lousy fingerprint to dozens of bodies up there. Ooh, I love this town. <laughs> Well, tell your father he'll arrest Spike and he'll sort it out. No, Tabitha, you don't understand. The evidence against Jessica is overwhelming. The only thing that will stick against Spike is that he kidnapped her and buried her alive. Ooh, you bad, bad boy. Norma, please, look, I'm not going to let my sister go to jail for a crime that she did not commit. I have to find evidence that he did it. Well, get him to confess. Hey, where's my axe? It's his right there. <laughs> My boys always started babbling when I handed them one of their feet. Oh, not now, Normie, not now. This place is a big enough mess as it is. <laughs> you know, Norma had a very good idea. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, 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 she's right. I'll just cast a spell and make him confess. No, no, not you, Kay. Cast the brass and cast and jammer. Let's hear him jammer. <laughs> never meant to hurt you or James. When I met you, I thought Luis was dead, and I honestly thought that I could move on with my life. Look, I, I shouldn't blow up at you like that. I know that you didn't hurt me or James on purpose, at least not at first. Chris. Look, it's okay. We can't choose who we fall in love with. But what upsets me is that James doesn't understand. And he's hurting, Sheridan. He's been moody. He's been way too quiet. And when I finally asked him what was bothering him, he burst into tears and asked me what he did wrong to make us break up. Oh, no. Now, I told him it wasn't his fault, but you know kids. They're going to believe what they want to believe. So do adults. Poor James. So, what else do you have to say? Not much. I just wanted to say how happy I am that things worked out with Luis. It would have really been a crime had he been executed. Well, thank you. Thank you. I'm also very happy for Pilar. And what must it have been like for her living in fear that she could lose her son? Can you imagine anything worse? Of course, Julian and Eve aren't exactly celebrating tonight. You know, they find out their long-lost son, Vincent, is a murderer. Yeah, that's... Yeah, it's a tragedy, because, you know, finding out that you have a child should be a time of joy, not one of pain. Okay, if that's all, Gwen. Yeah, Gwen, thank, thank you. Okay, night. 
So we uh, better hit the road, huh? We got stuff to do. Yes. Where are you uh, going somewhere? It's late. Please, don't do this. I've waited long enough. I'm going to show Luis that you've scarred me for life. He's going to know what you're really like. Oh. <clears throat> What's going on? Who's this? Hello, Luis. I'm Pretty Crane, Fancy's sister. <laughs> Pretty? Oh, I sure didn't always talk about you. Um, Luis... It's nice to something... meet you, finally. You look upset, though. Is everything all right? Not exactly, no. It hasn't been all right for a very long time. Not since Fancy did this to me. It's ironic they call me pretty, isn't it? Wow. You did that? It's your own sister? Passions is moving, but if you call DirecTV at 1-888-999-0433, you won't miss a single minute. Oh, okay. Tabitha, what do I do? You do nothing. When you do do something, oh, heaven breaks loose. And you're a... Now I can hear myself think. Hey, what, what do we do, okay? Spike has got to go to jail. I'm not going to let Jessica be punished for his crime. Oh, wait one cotton-picking minute here because we don't want to lose our house boy. Yeah, Spike comes in very handy. This morning, he waxed my back. And my chest. Oh, his growling's coming along nicely. Yes. Oh, and if you squish your eyes like this, <laughs> he looks kind of cute. Uh, well, he does. <sighs> I don't want to lose Spike either. I want him to fix my roof. Are you guys crazy? That man has got to go to jail. And for that to happen, I have got to make him confess to those murders. Okay, I know you want Spike punished, but just leave it to me and stop being so impatient. But first of all, we've got to get all these people out of my house, and then we can address your problem. No, no more delays. My sister is in trouble, and I'm going to help her right now. Alakazam, she poopy. Wait, 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 wait a second here. Weren't we just, just over at Tabitha's? Well, what are you talking about? No. Yeah, yeah, we were, we were just at Tabitha's. Okay, everybody, please stop. Look, you can't arrest us. Darn it. Thought I zapped Spike over here with us. You changed your mind? I can't arrest Jessica. She's innocent of those crimes. My magic has saved the day. <laughs> oh, <God>. Dad, <laughs> what, are you, what are you doing? Okay, Bennett. I know you were the one who killed all those men. All the evidence points to you. You're under arrest. It kills me that I've hurt James. Look, Sharon, I didn't come here to punish you. James asked me to bring this carving, and that's what I've done. So why didn't you bring him? I want to see him, too. I don't think it's going to be a good idea. Chris! Sheridan, he needs more time away from you to adjust. If we reunite him with you now, I think it'll just confuse him. I'll keep an eye on him, and when he's ready, I will let you visit. Okay. Good night, then. Good night. message loud and clear. I'm so 
sorry that I hurt you. No, no. I'm sorry, but I, I can't see you right now. Not, not you, not now. Where are you going this time of night? You know what? Can we just keep this one? Our little Honey, trip, you know please? what? You know what? I don't, I don't see why. I don't see why, because it's going to be big news tomorrow. It will. Okay. Gwen, congratulate us. We are eloping. And tonight, this woman is going to be Mrs. Ethan Winthrop. The hell she will. Oh. Fancy. Huh? How could you do that to anyone, let alone your own sister? She's me and the police. You don't know her. No, no. I never meant to hurt her. Why her? She made me a freak because she's jealous of me. Look what you did. No. I just had the most horrible nightmare. Good. Time to turn nightmares into a reality. 